<clears throat> Andrea says, I have a question for today again. Okay, Andrea. How can I change my mindset from negative to positive? I want to smile more and feel happy with others. Thank you. Well, you can. You see, one of the reasons that we tend to think something disastrous has happened is because we think the relationship or the girlfriend or whatever your cases are, the boyfriend, is the reason why you're feeling pain. <clears throat> you see, breakup is not fun. It does feel painful. And you feel pain. But do you know where it's coming from? It seems so obvious for you. I broke up, so I'm in pain. But where is that pain coming from? Why is that pain there that makes you unfocused, unhappy, as you said? And you wonder, how can I be happy again because this pain? But where is that pain is coming from? Is it coming from the girlfriend that you broke up with or the boyfriend that you broke up? I'm just going to talk about one kind of relationship. You guys change it to however your situation is. So, so is it coming from the fact that you broke up with your girlfriend? Now, Andrea, you can change it to your boyfriend, but I'm just talking one uh, type of relationship. So is it coming from because of your girlfriend? She broke up, she left, so that's where the pain you feel. Is that what you are missing? Is that why you're in pain? Yes? Yes? I wish I could see your faces. I see lots of them probably going like this. Yes, is that really, really, really? Is that the girl that has brought you the pain? Hmm? Is it the apple that is so important by itself on its own? Or is it your ability to be hungry? Is your hunger that causes the apple to become so important? Which one is it? Is it the apple by itself? If it was the apple by itself, why do you not think apple is so important? Or you, go, you want it if you're just coming out of a restaurant with a full tummy of food? So it's not the apple, is it? It's your hunger that makes the apple so important. Is it the girlfriend that is bringing the pain? Is it the cause of your pain created in your body, in your feelings, the girlfriend? Is it? Is it? Or is it your desire for that girl? Your desire that makes her to be so important and then you want her and not having her is the pain. So the desire is the roots or is it her, the roots? Now think about it. I want you to think about your girlfriend or your ex. And think about the memories you had with him or her. And of course, when you think about your ex, always good stuff comes up. Never bad stuff, because that's how we are. We human beings are built that way. We only think about the good stuff. We forget about the bad stuff. So you're thinking about your ex right now. Go through this exercise with me and think about your girlfriend or your boyfriend, your ex, and think about all these things and the memories. And then there's an emotional file that comes with all that memory. And that emotional file is now hitting you the same way as it hit when it happened, whenever it was that emotional file was created. So now that emotional file brings about those feelings that you're feeling right now, the pain. The fact that you're missing her and how you're feeling right now. Yeah? Because the pictorials of the memory with it has an emotional file which comes with it to the forefront of your mind. And then you are reacting to that emotional file 
just as the same as if it was happening now. And that brings about the way you feel. Yeah? So thinking about your ex brought those emotional files and now you feel the pain. Yeah? You thought of it and you feel the pain. Now what I want you to do is this. Uh, come with me on this journey and think about the sport that you like. You like. Uh, maybe it's tennis, maybe it's basketball, maybe badminton, maybe baseball, maybe track, maybe horseback riding. Let's take horseback riding. Just imagine you just bought brand new riding boots and you have your helmet and you're registered for, for a horseback riding class, of course. Now you're in that club. Now they bring the horse. Wow, what a magnificent creature. <laughs> you're excited. They help you to put you on, on, the, on, on the saddle and you sit there, heels down, you have the bridle, sit up straight and takes the first walk. Imagine how it feels taking that first walk and seeing the world from top of the horse. Now, tell me, were you in pain? Were you thinking about, were you in pain at the breakup right now when you were thinking about what I was just describing to you? No, why? Because you weren't thinking about your ex, yeah? You were thinking about something and you were not thinking about your ex. So it's the thinking that brought the pain. Because when you were thinking about your ex, the memory, the emotional fight, it brought the pain with it. So, and this time you were not thinking and you were thinking about something else that didn't have any emotional fight with it of that sort. And there was no pain. So it's not the ex, it's the thinking of that memory that brings the emotional fights. You're triggering the things that, so it's the thinking that brings the pain, right? If you understand that it is the thinking of a certain situation that brings the emotions attached to it, which in this case is pain, then you gotta understand where thought comes from. What is the relationship between thought and memory? Thought and consciousness. And the fact that when you think about something, then you desire. The, what are the steps of desire taking place? When you understand that, then you, then you go further, say, ah, oh, thoughts, memory, consciousness, desire, the elements that needs desire to be born, then the ego, then the fear, all of that. And what are the role of these things that create all these pain that I'm going through? So if thought is responsible for my pain, if my desire for the girlfriend, not the girlfriend, the girlfriend's not doing anything. She's gone her way. She's with somebody else or chosen a different path in life or the boyfriend done that, does that. And then um, you respect their wishes and respect yourself and you can do the same, have your own path. But they're not really causing you is the desire is the thought you creating that pain by pain by thinking by the desire creating the desire of wanting the wanting is where the pain comes from so when we understand all these things then we understand that oh the knowledge of it sets me free i now know it's not a mystic where this pain comes from i know where the pain comes from pain comes from the thought Pain comes from the desire, wanting the apple. The apple by itself is not important. Me wanting the apple is important. Why do I want the apple? Because I have ability to be hungry. Hunger, I want the nutrients that some of them exist in apple. I want that. That wanting makes that apple become important. And when I'm full, that apple no longer is important and I don't crave for it. Same thing. If you continue your life, build your life and understand there's a life outside of this breakup. Breakup is not the life. Relationship is not the life. The girlfriend or boyfriend was not the whole entirety of the life. It is part of the entirety of life. And in life, there's so much more for you to build and experience. And therefore, you will be full and satisfied and will not crave that apple anymore. You will not crave this girlfriend or the boyfriend or this relationship that is broken up anymore when you're built new and experienced new in this whole entirety of life, which has a lot more to offer to you. So go and fill and satisfy yourself and experience new things like you just came out of the restaurant with full wonderful food and that apple, as important as it was yesterday when you were hungry, no longer has any importance to you.
because it is your hunger that makes the apple important. It is your desire that makes that girlfriend or the boyfriend seem so important and desired and wanted. Not them themselves. So understand where it all comes from and then you will have a knowledge that not so easily things of that nature can bother you anymore. And you can see it clear and continue your journey and stop on other destinations and experience life in full. That's what I have to say about your question, Andrea. I hope it was something for you to enjoy.